Well, we're seeing a global repricing of risk as a result of increasing subprime uh, mortgage delinquencies in the U.S. Investors around the world are reconsidering how much they want to charge low-quality borrowers to borrow their money. And so the spread over treasuries that lower-quality companies and investors are having to pay to borrow money is going up, and that can potentially slow earnings. And there's fears of a credit crunch brewing, and so that's generally not a good thing for stocks. It's important that there be a free flow of liquidity around the world. So as that's threatened, we're seeing global stock markets pulling back aggressively. Actually, I do think there's going to be a recession. Uh, market's been a lot of, you know, done a lot of correcting lately, but uh, I think overall it's on a downward trend, and with housing the way it's been, and housing is really driving the market, and that's housing the is, to, uh, yeah, that's the main reason. Uh, we, we don't think that this is going to lead to a U.S. recession. Our economists are forecasting 2% GDP growth this year. That's a slowdown from the 3.3% we saw last year, but it's a far cry from a recession. In addition, globally, we're still seeing very good growth. So this is a, a very significant event in the financial markets, but the real economy is still holding up pretty well.